Hi everybody. So this is it. The final two videos, I think, yes, of the rudder construction. So all the rivets are done. You can see the top rivets in place. Therefore, the counterweight is down there in place. Trailing edge is done. The only thing left to do is to bend these leading edges into place and pop rivet them. So what I did was I started with a piece of one and a quarter inch PVC. Uh, to kind of start uh, giving it a gentle bend by bending it and holding it in place. One thing I realized is that the one and a quarter inch uh, PVC is just way too big. And the metal, while it does wrap around the pipe nicely, at the same time, it's too big of a radius for it to significantly give any kind of generous bend. So the story behind these is that you need to bend the two leading edges together. <laughs> uh, here I am trying to get cute and heat the metal up with a heat gun to make it a little more pliable. Anyway, so the idea is that you fold these two pieces on top of each other and then pop everything them into place. Uh, Van says you are you are not to simply bend them into place uh, without pre-bending them and then clecoing them. To do that, you would wind up uh, cracking the skin. There would be a lot of stress because the metal wasn't pre-bent. Okay, no problem. So uh, get yourself a nice piece of PVC, drill some holes in it, cleco it in place, tape it as well so that uh, there isn't any pillowing in the skins and then start to bend it, uh, pre-bend it so that you can get the two pieces together. Great. Uh, I don't think there's any possible way to actually bend those two pieces of metal together and pop rivet them into place without pre-bending the metal. Because I've been, because as you can see, I'm sitting here pre-bending metal for freaking hours. And let me tell you, even after that thing is pre-bent pretty well, because I've moved now down here to a .75 inch uh, piece of PVC, and as much as you bend and hold that thing as far as it will go to make contact, it still doesn't quite bend it enough. Not quite enough so that the two pieces basically lay on top of each other. So you really, and I, so basically even after I did bending for hours on both sides, getting those two pieces to actually line up has been, was probably the biggest pain in the ass of this entire build so far. Because again, that skin is pretty thin, and you, you know, once you want to start clecoing this thing together, you got to get those holes lined up. Well, that skin does not want to move. Those holes do not want to line up. And if, God forbid, you don't want to put one cleco into place, let's say at the very edge, and then let all that stress go, because the skins want to snap back into place. And with that skin being that thin, you could just tear through the edge of the skin or at least start tearing a bigger hole than the one that's actually there. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I just got my piece of PVC in place and I just keep bending. I'm using the angle of the Clecos as kind of a guide to see how well I'm doing. Apparently that was enough of that fascination for one day, so now we've moved on to the next day. Here I am in my jumpsuit. Again, you want to put that tape in between these holes because if you don't, then what will happen is uh, the skin will start to pull and might pillow. You think, well, all those Glico's in place, it must have good coverage. Uh, not good enough. So, got to put that tape into place to help. And here I am just bending over and over and over. I'm trying not to bend it too much. That's the thing is you want to be delicate with it because God forbid you actually start to bend something too far and the next thing you know, oh great, now it doesn't fit. Or, oh god, I've cracked a skin. Well, I guess I'm going to have to order all these parts over again. Uh, on the left side, so I've got my hand seamer in place there. On the left side, uh, Vans, that, since that's the skin that will be sitting on top of the two pieces when they're folded over, they want you to put a little uh, extra break in the very edge of the skin just so that it folds over nicely and kind of creates a little flatter of a surface. 
So you just use a hand seamer. I mean, there's seaming tools, but I like to use a hand seamer. Uh, I got a little more control that way, and I just put a little seam on like the last, you know, quarter of an inch of the of the metal. Anyway, on to the next. <laughs> 